Hi guys! Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. Good night to those who are ready to go to bed and sleep. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, start of the week, and I hope that you have uh, a super blessed week this week. Um, well, my name is Charlene, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Charlene's Healthy Cooking and um if you are new to my channel i want to welcome you all and to all my subscribers viewers and everybody i welcome you to my youtube channel so all right um my wrist is still very painful i supposed to have an appointment for my doctor tomorrow but since it's rescheduled on the 7th so i will update you guys but i already had the x-ray uh, result but i haven't talked to her because she wanted to see me in person so i will see her on the 7th in the afternoon then i will update you guys about my wrist because it's still very painful and it is from here now until here so it, it's more uh it just like it got worse i twisted it again and accidentally and that's what happens so i'm going back to my doctor and see what they're gonna recommend and what the x-ray result is and we're gonna talk about that on the 7th okay so i'm not wearing my brace right now but i'm still wearing it every day night and day okay so but since i'm gonna make a burger i and i chop some of some uh, um ingredients so um I remove it and I'll put it back after I'm done so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a homemade burger so anyways um, to make a, a burger patty so I got here a 2.3 pounds so this is gonna be probably four or five or more burgers but I gonna cook only two burgers so and then this is what we need meat okay beef okay um i got one and a half uh, medium onions here chopped okay um and uh we need garlic okay black pepper and some salt but just a little salt uh, and I tell you later on what we need for the burger itself to make it a soup burger sandwich, okay? So, this is for uh, just for the meat for now, what we're gonna put on the meat, okay? So, I already prepared everything. So, uh, if you have gloves, wear a gloves, okay? I like wearing a gloves when I mix, uh, when I make a burger. Alright, so... Put uh, I like making my own burger, my homemade burger, because I wanted to put whatever I wanted to put on the burger, and I can uh, limit the salt or the sodium and the spices that you know, uh, that I'm gonna put on the meat, and I know what in it and what i'm putting it so i prefer homemade burgers and especially it's you know it's a better way of um making a better taste at home okay so 2.3 pounds now i got this chopped onion we're gonna mix it okay let's put it all together all right there you go let's put it all together the onion okay And be before you you use put the glass and use use your hands with the glass on the on the meat when you mix it. Uh, wash it, okay? Because just to be on a safe side, okay? And now we're gonna put some black pepper, okay? We're gonna put only one four teaspoon of black pepper or less, okay? If 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 you if if it's more than 
if, you, if there's a lot of meat, then you can put more, or you can estimate whatever the taste you desired or the spice to the meat, okay? And that's one for a teaspoon of black pepper. And I will only put one fourth teaspoon as well of salt. Okay, this is very simple, but at least you know what you, you're putting on it rather than just keep eating on the food chain, okay, or in the uh, um, restaurant, okay. It's very easy to make. Actually, it's very, very easy. One of the easiest um, sandwich to make. And then, I'm going to put two tablespoons of garlic, minced garlic. Should be minced or chopped garlic, okay? Because I have a lot of meat, so I'm going to put two tablespoons, all right? And then when you cook it, you can prepare or get the oven ready if you have an oven. Because I'm going to cook it on the oven, 350 degrees. And uh, I'm going to cook it for at least 8 to 10 minutes only. All right, you don't want that overcooked, the, the meat. Okay, and then we're gonna mix it. All right, mix, mix it. Make sure it, it's all mixed all together really well. Okay. It's very simple, but at least you know what's in it. Okay, guys. And I'm so careful about the sodium. That's why I only put even to its. It's 2.3 pounds uh, meat. I still uh, put a small uh, amount of uh, salt for better um, um, But I can't concentrate, guys. It's just something in my brain I can't process. I'm sorry, guys. But just to show you how, how I'm making my homemade burger, okay? So, and prepare the oven, 300, preheat it for 350 degrees between uh, 8 to 10 minutes, but, you know, I prefer 8 minutes only. But if you want well done, you can cook a little longer. And um, then I can I use my baking pan, okay, like this. And I like putting a uh, foil so that uh, it's not directly to the metal uh, um, pan, baking pan or whatever you have to use, okay? So that is mixed already. You're really good. That's good. And then we're going to make some patties. Okay, guys, if you make a, a lot of, if you mix a lot of uh, meat, you know, you're going to make uh, uh, burger patties. Uh, just cook what you can eat, and then the rest you can put it in the refrigerator, or you can even put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. If you think that you can't, uh, you don't feel like eating the next day or in the next two days, then just put it in the freezer, and then when you... Um, feel like you wanted a homemade burger, then you just take it out from the freezer and uh, the froze it before you cook it, okay guys? So after that, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator after I make the burger, so I'm done. So I'm just gonna, just gonna take up some little portion of, uh, of meat and just make it like a bowl like a bowl like this and then squeeze it like the burger patties okay so it's round it, it looks very very nice okay the meat that I got uh, uh, the hamburger uh, beef uh, I, I got the can you lower down a bit the volume uh, I get the 30, uh, sorry, 80% lean and 20% fat, so, leaner. Just watching TV. 
my patient. <laughs> so there you go. It's very, very nice, okay? There we go. And we're just gonna put it here directly. You don't need to oil the uh, the pan because the meat is already fat, okay? So, and then, one more because they're gonna make two. Two burgers. That's a lot. Too much. <laughs> All right, and just keep doing the same thing. Okay, there you go. And this is just a hamburger. I don't put cheese because of uh, one, it's not part of uh, the diet. Because, um, don't feed him with cheese. And um, you put, I just put some simple, simple, uh, um, other ingredients for a hamburger. Like uh, veggie, ketchup, mayonnaise. All right, there you go. And the suggested bread that they want me to use for uh, his diet, cardio, uh, uh, diabetic diet, is uh, whole wheat or brown bread. So I got a brown bread. I'll show you when I'm done here. All right, now it's done and it's ready. And then if you have toaster, you can just put the, uh, the bread in the toaster. But I prefer putting in the oven for like a minute, the bread just to, or even less, just to warm it up. I don't want uh, uh, to put it in the toast toaster because uh, sometimes it's just not, not it doesn't taste good to me I'm not a fan of a toaster so sometimes I even heat it on the pan in the stove so that's the burger and then I'll show you guys when it's done okay when I make the sandwich okay guys so let's put it in the oven I already preheated it for uh, 30 de 350 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, for 8 minutes if possible, put it on the lower rack, and that's done, and then guys, we, you know, close that, and I'll show you the other ingredients that I'm gonna uh, put on the sandwich okay so the meat is done it's the meat is done it's already in the oven all right guys now let's start with the um, just a second I need, I need to <laughs> get a plate and get it ready I don't know um Especially since the COVID, even though it's already washed, it's already pre-washed in the, um, what do you call this, dishwasher, I like to rinse it off with uh, um, tap water. Okay, now, what are gonna, what we're gonna need for the sandwich, the uh, burger is lettuce, ramen lettuce, or if you don't have this, uh, Roman lettuce, you can use the other, uh, like iceberg lettuce or whatever kind of, but it, it doesn't necessarily need to be a lettuce all the time. If you don't have it, it's okay. You can just put the ketchup and the mayonnaise or tomato and, uh, and, and, and onion, but I already put onion on it, so I'm not going to put onion anymore. And so, and then mayonnaise, okay. And this is what I'm talking about, the brown bread, all right? I love, the, um, I love the, the product from the spaghetti, ah, not the spaghetti, <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. So I'm gonna make two sandwiches, so I need two of, of the bread. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm this up in the oven later on when the meat is almost done, so. 
We're going to put the rest of the meat, the burger, the hamburger in the refrigerator. After, uh, the, after I put the uh, back all everything in here, the mayonnaise and everything, and then I'll then put in the refrigerator. So now we need the... Okay, I wash my hands. I wash the gloves with the soap, okay? <laughs> because I use it with the meat. Now I'm gonna take care of the lettuce. Okay. He wanted a ketchup instead of um, the fresh potato. So I'm gonna take up some of the uh, old ones in here. If you want the fresh, okay? So maybe I only need three. Okay, three leaves, I think. But of course, I like washing it again, even though it's in the bag. Okay. It's for, uh, just for the safe side, like I said. Just wash it again, even though it, it said I'm gonna put more. So I want him to have more. Um, of more veggies um you know just for uh for a safe side you know so i i like washing it uh again even though it's, it's in a sealed bag i still like washing it okay before i uh, put it on the um the sandwich or whatever the veggies and other food make sure you wash it before you eat it okay it doesn't matter if it's in the bag it's in the it's in the um in the container okay it's not a waste of time to wash it you're just gonna run with it on a on the top water for, for a few seconds or a minute and then it's, it's good okay even though it says pre-washed, you still need to wash it. Well, that's me. So I cut them into half, okay? One half, all right? I'm gonna use. And we're done with that. And now, I'm gonna show you the bread. So, this is a brown bread. It's just like a rice. It was a brown bread, but it looks like a rye bread. Mm. Okay? Try it again. Try it Four. Two sandwiches. So, and then mayonnaise. That's all you need. Mayonnaise. Oh, of course my ketchup. Where I put my ketchup? <laughs> the ketchup is hiding. And ketchup. Okay, a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of mayonnaise and when when the when the burger is ready i like to put um both sides when you close it put together i like both sides okay inside both to put mayonnaise and then um, you put ketchup on top of the burger all right so and then that's it. And then I'll show you when it's ready, the the, the beef, uh, the burger, and I'll be back shortly, okay? few minutes. Uh-oh. All right, guys, the burger is done. See? Actually, I cook it for, uh, I think, nine, nine, ten minutes. It's, but it's not overcooked not well done it's just perfect it's just right okay so it's done now we're gonna make the sandwich okay so i already removed my gloves i'm wearing my brace now because it's hurting pretty good now so let's see this and i already warm up the bread in the oven too all right guys so let me wash my hands again Wipe 
keep washing and washing and washing. All right, guys. So um, I'm making these two burgers right now. Um, and uh, uh, he wanted me to try with the mustard, the other one. So I, I'm also using mustard, okay? One with mustard and one with ketchup. One sandwich, which, okay? One sandwich with mustard and one sandwich with ketchup. Right, guys, so let's start putting the mayonnaise, okay? But if you don't like mustard, you know, ketchup, or you can, if you don't like ketchup, you can fresh put fresh tomatoes, okay? If it's not, you think you need more salt, you can put a little bit more salt in the, in the burger. All right, guys. So let's put now the mayonnaise. All right. So like I said, both sides, uh, both bread. Okay. These four pieces, I'm going to put a little mayonnaise. Okay. Each slice. Okay, slice. It's it, it's pretty quick, you know, to make. It's just the the mixing of the meat, you know, putting the spices and the other ingredients. Okay. Even the mayonnaise, mustard, I um, am very careful with the nutrition facts, you know, especially with sodium and cholesterol. That's why I'm only putting a little uh, amount each sandwich, okay? Like I said, if you want cheeseburger, you can put a cheese if you don't have a problem eating cheese, but this is... Uh, trying to be uh, considered a diabetic, a cardiac diabetic diet, okay? All right, and now we can put the burger, okay, on the bread, okay, like that. So, now, First one is ketchup, okay? Just put it on top of the... Okay, I'm not gonna put a lot of ketchup too, okay? Because it's the... Um, the sugar. Um, I think there is now... Uh, um, like no sugar added ketchup here but I didn't get it okay now the mustard on the other one and it's gonna be really tasty okay they're a very very simple burger yeah. um, you can use any kind of mustard yellow mustard uh, gray coupon like what I'm using it's gray coupon it's a bit more expensive but uh, I like the gray coupon better than the other one and what is the, the other kind of mustard now with the seeds? Whatever you call it, I can never remember. What do you call that? The other kind of mustard? Then you put the letters. I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm trying, I can't think of it. Yeah, yellow mustard, grape upon, or whatever kind of mustard you can find in this store. If you want, if you like mustard, okay? So let's just put it all like that. On top. I like a lot of, of lettuce on it so that you can eat more um, veg, uh, veggies, okay? He's not going to eat the, the two sandwiches, but going to try both and then probably um, uh, the rest, if he can't finish it, finish it, then he's just going to I just gonna put it in the microwave and eat it again when he's hungry. Alright. So that's my homemade burger. Alright guys. So that's the meal. Oops. 
You don't have a toothpick. <laughs> but that's the sandwiches, all right? It's beautiful. So now, his drink is zero, a zero sugar vitamin water. Um, this uh, was introduced to us, or we found this drink uh, from our friend, and um, since then, she's buying us a lot of this zero sugar uh, drink, all right? Vitamin water, all right? Zero sugar. There's uh, there's so many flavors. You got, uh, I think, hibiscus, um, blueberry, something like that, blueberry, pomegranate, the dragon fruit. It's not zero sugar, so I'm not crazy about it. It's okay for me to drink, but not with my hubby. And uh, tropical citrus. There's so many, 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 many flavors of this. So you can just, you can get it, you know, in the store and just in the refrigerator. It's cold. And when you feel like drinking one, then you can just take it out from the... Um, refrigerator so that's his meal but he like I said I made two because he wanted to try with the ketchup and with the mustard but he's not gonna finish this uh, for sure I know that and of course I gonna give him I'll use, I'll use my uh, bowl cup this is a bowl but it's like a cup okay and since he's gonna eat meat Okay, then you're gonna have the water, vitamin water, uh, the uh, dessert is a fresh fruit, it's fresh pap, cantaloupe, melon. So I'm just gonna give him some cantaloupe as his dessert. I don't give him anything else. Uh, until uh, dinner on uh, and then dinner I don't feed him much I just gonna uh, give him a little something uh, dinner uh, because he need to take his medications but um, he's already he already get used to it and his blood sugar uh, is already a lot better than before uh, it's ranged now from between 89 to 149 or 135 that range and when sometimes I forget to uh, check his blood sugar and I keep giving him even though it's zero sugar that I use Splenda sometimes I forget and it only goes out like 185 so uh, normal range uh, of um, blood sugar is between um, 75 to 150 so he's already on the right range so I'm so glad with the diet it really helps him he's getting better uh, but he's not ready to his body is not ready to get up yet and, and you know sit up but we're working on it hopefully he's gonna be able to do it soon because we already talked to his doctor about his situation, what they can do for him later on. Okay, guys, so, like I said, I will update you. I'm sorry, guys, um, uh, that I um, reschedule my appointment with my arm, but surely next week, or, yeah, on the 7th, uh, it's going to be my uh check up I'm gonna see my doctor and I'll update you what's the result of the x-ray what's going on with my arm my wrist and um, see what's their next uh, option to do with my arm I'm not sure if they're gonna put another cast that's that's a question right now but hopefully not because I'm tired wearing this so if I go they ask me to get another cast oh it's gonna be hard for me again so anyways guys hope you like my um my 
recipe for today one of the issues meal that you can prepare for yourself for your family if they wanted to well, your family gonna like to have hamburger okay then there you have it it's very very easy quick and easy all right it's the chopping of onion and mixing is done and then 10 minutes is not that bad not to cook in the oven for 10 minutes you can put it on the grill you know the burger whatever you prefer like i said you can do it on the stove so all right guys so i hope you guys enjoy my uh video today my recipe here we go with if he eats meat the dessert i give him is fresh fruits all right if he doesn't eat meat i give him a uh, um no sugar added uh ice cream because they have that uh, already in this store so i'm so glad i found that no added sugar and they said it's okay the doctor said it's okay he can have an ice cream as long as no sugar added so there you go guys so i hope you enjoy watching my video and i hope that you learned something from me today and um to those who are new uh, or visiting my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and after that, don't forget to click the notification bell so that when uh, you get updated, you get updated or notified, you'll be notified when I upload a new video guys, okay? And please give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Either way, likes or dislike, it's fine with me. <laughs> all right and um don't forget to comment in the comment section below please comment 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 so that uh, i know uh what to do next time if you have suggestions if there's something you want me to do if i can do it i'll do it then um if i can't i'm sorry but i will get back to you guys uh, as soon as I, re I read your messages or your comments then i'll get I'll respond to you for sure, okay guys? So, see you guys next time. I love you guys. My heart goes to everybody. I'm sorry. Um, I cannot concentrate today. Something is bothering me, but I'll be fine. All right, guys? I love you guys. Have a great, great week. Super blessed day and night, okay guys? I love you guys. My heart goes to everybody. Uh, like I always say, stay safe and stay healthy. And please, don't forget to pray. Pray, 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 pray all the time. God bless you all, and I will see you on my next video. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you like my recipe. Please, don't forget to subscribe my channel, okay? So, thank you so very much, everyone. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.